You're the woman that made me believe in love. You're the woman that made me realize what love really is. You're the woman who showed me the power of love. <laughs> You're my freaking rock. You're my yang my, and my whole being. I knew early on I wanted you to be my best friend, my lover, and the woman I started life with. This is our world to build together, conquer, love, and endure. For every hardship we encounter, I will be there to help you, to guide you, and to love you. Let's cherish this moment for the rest of our lives and bring this beautiful energy to burn with us eternally. I love you forever. <laughs> and to the moon, Alyssa, sincerely your son, your yin, your husband. <laughs> I can't believe today it is finally here. Looking through this book as I was writing these vow shows, one, how corny we are, <laughs> and two, how obsessed we are with each other. <laughs> as I cringe looking back on those early memories of 2014 going forward, I'm so fortunate to know that we have everything written down to look back on. The countless adventures we have created all lie in this book, and I can't wait to create more as the years go by. <laughs> Nick, I love you so much. I love your spontaneity. I love your drive for life and adventure. Being with you, we have traveled near and far, and you have brought me out of my comfort zone for the better. I promise to be your navigator, your best friend, and your wife. I promise to honor and cherish you through all of life's adventures. Wherever you go, we'll go together. Just like this book in my hands, and to make sure that the memories to come are cherished, just like the ones you have written before us. That was awesome. <laughs> you kicked ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A wife and husband are each other's lover, teacher, confident, listener, critic, and best friend. It is into this relationship that Alyssa and Nicholas have chosen to enter. Alyssa and Nicholas, now is the time which you have chosen to become husband and wife. We are all here not only to witness your commitment to each other, but to celebrate the love and trust you have found within one another. Families and friends, you form the community of support that surrounds this special couple. Alyssa, please accept this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. Alyssa, please accept this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. I give you this ring as a symbol of my constant love and devotion. I give you this ring as a symbol of my constant love and devotion. Which I pledge to you today and all the days of my life. Which I pledge to you today and every day for the rest of my life. Nicholas, please accept this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. Nicholas, please accept this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. I give you this ring as a symbol of my constant love and devotion, which I pledge to you today and all the days of my life. Which I pledge to you today and all the days of my life. It is with great pleasure and privilege <laughs> that I pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations. Nicholas, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas Resinini. I hope you don't mind if I say that I love you Cause there's so many ways that I want to in case you don't know who I am, yes, you are in fact seeing double. And no, it's not because of the drinks at the bar. I'm Danielle, Alyssa's twin sister. Alyssa and I have been inseparable since the womb. Um, and we would always do everything together, from playing and having the same friends growing up to being on the same sports teams. We were always the dynamic duo. Nick, here is your official welcome to the family, even though you've been part of the family for the past seven years. Um, we're so happy to finally have a brother, or a brussy, as we like to call it in our family. Uh, Nick and Alyssa, we love you both so much. We wish you a lifetime of happiness, and welcome to the family, Nick. Congratulations. Cheers to the Resonides. For those of you who don't know, my name is Dylan, and I've been Nick's best friend since summer after freshman year of high school. If you ask our parents, however, they might say that I was Nick's first boyfriend. In fact, the, uh, the first time I met Nick's dad, I think he uh, found Nick and I passed out on my bed. Wearing only cross-country shorts. 
That's pretty much it, yeah. It's tough to come back from that one. To the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Resonity.